Jim, congratulations. Terrific win today. What pleased you most about the victory? Um, well, it was a difficult game, but I mean, obviously, well, it's just the fact that um, the game was on and we got yeah. three goals and three points. I mean, that's the most important thing because we'll have a few doubters at the moment. And, and I said to the lads, it's the start of a huge week. Um, you know, um, we can get one of those games in hand, start making the league table look a little bit healthier because other teams weren't playing. And then we've got Tuesday night to come. And if we can build on today with another win, then it makes it fantastic for Saturday's game. So um, they've done the business today. It was a difficult, difficult game, but um, yeah, I suppose the most pleasing thing was that we've come here and, and got three points. I know it's the same for both teams, but it just gives an idea of, of the horrendous conditions at times today during the game. Well, I, I can't because I sit in the dugout for most <laughs> of it um, and with a hat and gloves on. But no, it was it was tricky. I mean, credit to the ground staff here because um, when you see the the amber warning going out and then you see games dropping uh, all over this area, uh, you know, and, and the likes of York yeah. and, and, and clubs that have got bigger bigger structures. So the ground staff have done brilliant to get the game on. Um, fortunately, the, the the snow that did come down didn't settle well enough uh, to, to give us a problem in that regard. And, uh, the little bits of uh, damp area they treat with a bit of sand. So, um, yeah, but then you had the cold, biting wind, the swirly snow, um, which obviously played a part in their second goal. But um, no, it was difficult for players, but I thought um, it, it was fun. You know, uh, we, the last three games we played against these, we won 1 0. And um, they've been playing a little bit like tight and solid, and they've got a 1 0 win against Chorley, a 1 0 win against Kidderminster, they've gone 1 0 up against Brackley, and you're thinking, Play at time, but they were totally different today. They've, they've obviously gone 4 4 2, and yeah. uh, so the game was far more open than I expected. And um, then the score was there was five goals in the game, um, but there could have been a hell of a lot more. And people might look at it and say, Well, you should come here and beat Brackley, uh, beat uh, games for a second from bottom in the league. But a team fighting for the lives like this under a new manager, never an easy place to come. No, no, well, like I said, I just, uh, just said that they beat Kidderminster 1 0, yeah. they beat Chorley 1 0. So uh, they know how to get results here, and um, but uh, whatever you're top or the bottom of the league, and the only way you get results is if you keep clean sheets. And I mean that's proof in that the two games that they picked up six points against teams they shouldn't be beating. But I mean they've got some massive games coming up. Their game on Tuesday against FC United is huge for both clubs. Um, all we can do is look after our own business. Um, I felt that uh, today we we had a lot of players who played really well on the front foot. I think Reece Turner was a huge plus for us today, and um, if you'd been a little bit more. I'll use the word ruthless rather than selfish. And if he'd been greedier and more determined to get another goal, he could have had a hat trick in the first half. And um, um, Matty again should have been more greedy in around the box. Um, but our approach play was really good. Um, it was nice to get a goal off, even though it was a second phase of the corner. That was good. But um, for you know, credit to Jimmy Ball, Adam Thomas, and, and Reese because they've, they've took the goals really well in difficult conditions. And three different goal scorers. Does that tell you anything about about the side and the way they're playing? And, and playing good football in a difficult pitch as well. Yeah, well, I mean, Jason and Reese um, and Matty all had opportunities, so. Um, you know, Jason and Matty be disappointed to come off a little probably thinking how they did not score and, and um, disappointed they didn't score. But um, what I like about Adam and Jimmy, and you know, this isn't a surprise with Jimmy. I mean, people might look at the highlights and you know think, oh, you know, tap him, but he's ran 60 yards. Yeah. And I remember against Southport, he ran 90 yards from a corner, um, you know, to finish off a goal. And he's he's ran in the last minute from from midfield to score against Boston, and he's he's ran against Brackley to get in the box. And so I, I just you know that's where perhaps playing him with someone like Harry or a holding midfield like Paul Turnbull allows him to become that uh, eight that kind of mm -hmm. kind of joins and gives us an extra attacking dimension at the moment. Um, himself and Adam, I'm really pleased for them because they've worked really hard in training. Scott again had a f really positive game today, so these lads are looking really strong, and they look. Uh, like they can stay in the game longer because they're, they're a little bit fitter and more mentally sharp than some of the other lads. Two points off the playoffs now. How far ahead do you look, Jim, in terms of whether you can get into that that top seven? Uh, well, like I said, you just want to go. It, it, at the moment, the, the league is it's, it's hard to judge the league because there's teams who played more games than us and likes to spend more, play less. And, um, at this rate, I think spending more could be playing in the summer. Um, <laughs> I just it's just bizarre how they've yeah. not been able to get games on, but. Um, from our perspective, it's just you know we just recover. You know, fortunately, I don't think we picked up any injuries today, so whatever. Um, and because we've rested Smalley and Paul Turnbull, that perhaps they should be fit. So 
and then we've got other players as well uh, waiting in the wings. So the squad's looking really strong. We've got to be careful about what team we put out on Tuesday. Make sure we have good energy because we want, you know, we want a really good crowd behind us, giving us loads of energy. And if we put, if, if we get a win at home, then it sets up brilliant for Saturday. So you don't look too far ahead. I, I think um, it's very much. I wouldn't say it's in our own hands, but what we have to do is just look after our own business, keep picking up wins, and um, you know this is a massive week for us. If we can come out at the end of this week with um, 50 plus points, then we'll, we'll put ourselves in a position that when we start play, playing teams around us, that we'll not only have confidence but belief that we we are very much in the hunt. We won't keep in the cold too much longer. Well done, Jim. Thanks so much. Yeah.